Okay, so this is going to be an updated tutorial on making custom add-on weapons for 5M. So, obviously you're going to need a model. I found this one in Sketchfab. Um, so, what I usually do is I find a, a reference from the game that's closest matches the weapon that I'm trying to add. So, for this example, I'm just going to be using an AK. So, what I would do is I would find the assault rifle model and just go ahead and export it. I'm just using the latest one from patch day 8 and then also you're going to need to export the mag 1 this way we can uh, set up the component and with those exported go ahead and just import them now with these imported what you can do is go to general and then view and then toggle the collisions we're going to go ahead and just hide the magazines for now and Let's say for example your mesh for your guns like up here or something what we're going to do is try to position it as close as possible to the vanilla gun it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer the better so we're just going to move this down and then this seems like fine for now we're also going to just double check from the back to make sure it lines up the sights so something like that works Make sure it's not to the like offset to the side or whatever. Then once you've done aligning it, click apply all transforms with control A. Now what we're gonna do is expand our vanilla gun hierarchy. Go to the object data properties and then go to vertex groups. And then here is how the animations work for the weapons. So let me hide our custom mesh. And then, so for example here, if I go into edit mode, you'll see when I select the gun trigger pull or PR whatever uh, vertex group and then click select, this mesh here is affected by the uh, gun trigger PR bone, which is this one here. So then again, if we select the gun cock one, this is the mesh that will move when you shoot the gun, which is affected by this bone here. That makes sense. So with that being said, what we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the vanilla mesh, unhide our custom one, go here and select it, and then press V, and then convert to drawable. Then we can expand this and unparent it with shift and drag. We can delete that and just rename this. Then just parent it to our uh, skeleton or armature, whatever. Then what we're going to do is start by adding a new vertex group. We're going to call this gun trigger underscore PR. Actually, we'll name this main bone. Uh, what am I doing? And this here is going to be gun trigger PR. And this one here is going to be gun cock one. Make sure the names are capitalized or the same as the bone names. Otherwise, I don't believe it'll work. Now that we have these set up, uh, we're going to go into edit mode. You probably shouldn't do this for your model, but I'm doing it for the sake of simplicity as it, it'll probably fuck up the normals and it won't look as good. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge everything by distance. And then I'm going to go to geometry data and clear the custom split normals. Okay, it's not too much uh, different, but it's as you can see here, it's pretty shit in some spots. But now that we have it merged, I'm going to select, I'm going to uh, link to select on our trigger just so I can select it easier. Then click on our gun trigger uh, vertex group and then click assign. Then do the same for our, uh, what's it called? Where do I can. Uh, gotta be, I think there's a way to hide the bones. I'm going to figure it out. I forget, whatever. But I'm just going to link select on this and this one too. And then go to our gun cock one and assign. Then just uh, select all on the mesh. Then select the gun cock one and click deselect. And then select the trigger and click deselect. Then assign the remaining mesh to the gun main bone. Then add a armature modifier and select it. Uh, set it to the weapon. Make sure it's not set to the mag. 
Then uh, what we're also going to do is uh, we can expand this and copy the mesh name and then go to the object data properties and then the solemns tab and just make sure the right mesh name is set for the high uh, LED. Otherwise it might mess up when you export it. What we're also going to do is rename this. Uh, we're also going to rename our skeleton. We're going to just put dot skeleton at the end, like that. And then now what we can do is do the magazine. So we can just unhide these and now we're just going to align it with our vanilla mag. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, but the closer the better. Like that, and then what we're going to do is just go ahead and apply all the transforms with Control A. Then we're going to select our mesh and going to convert it to a drawable with V. And then unparent it, delete this, and then just rename this. Uh, usually magazines, they don't have more than one vertex group. So we can just copy this name, delete the mesh. Uh, parent this to here at a new vertex group called AAP clip whatever select all the mesh and just assign it then add a armature modifier and uh, assign it to the mag and we're just going to also rename this one as well if you want uh, you can also like reposition the collision so it's not like see this a lot smaller than our mag but it doesn't matter as long as it has them it should be fine now now that we have our uh object set or our weapon set up um obviously you're going to need a solemn shader so for example here we have a normal spec we go into the shading tab we have our base color or diffuse we have our specular, or I don't know why this one's called roughness, but this is our specular shader, or texture. Down here is our normal map. Just goes in this order like that. Uh, you don't need, you probably shouldn't use the normal specular shader for a weapon, but I'm not planning on using weapon tints or sk like tech, uh, like skins or whatever. So I'm just going to be using a normal spec. You can use normal, default, whatever. Whatever fits your needs, I guess. So... With that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed the textures and then unembed them after. Just This is just so that Blender outputs the files to where I'm exporting the XMLs to. Because then we're going to convert it to a texture dictionary. It just makes it easier. You don't have to do it this way, but this is how I prefer doing it. So I'm going to select our mesh, do drawable tools, shader tools, and then that all materials embedded. And then do the same for our mag. Then we're just going to export this to a new folder. That. Then we're going to just go ahead and select them again and click set all materials unembedded. And then make sure to do it for both. Then we're going to export it again. So as you can see here, when we export it, uh, one second. It'll make the two folders with the uh, textures. Uh, in your case, they might not be in .dds format. So um, I'll leave a link in the description or you can just look it up on Google. This tool I'm going to be using is called Folders to YTD. Basically, it can either convert it to a DDS format or it can just straight up make a YTD for you. So in this example, I'm just going to be using the YTD. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to uncheck this box, you don't have to, but then I'm just going to select these two folders, and then just drag them into the top here, and then click convert. And then see here, it'll create our texture dictionaries. So then I'm just going to drag them into CodeWalker like this. Then I'm going to drag in our XMLs for our weapon. Okay, now comes the part where we create the meta files. I'm just going to clear out this folder on my desktop, drag in all the files we just put in CodeWalker in here. Then we're going to be using a tool called VWeapon Toolkits. Uh, 
I think the later builds of it are broken and don't work that well. So make sure you're using 1.0.3. Uh, if you go to the GitHub release tab, I think, you can scroll down a bit and find the correct one. Uh, this is the one I'm using, so just make sure you're using that one. I'm just going to open up the EXE. Then click Browse. Select your folder where your files are. And then just make sure you set the, so the weapon name. This is, I think, the name of the like folder that it saves to. It doesn't matter this one that much, but... So the weapon ID is the name that you spawn it in game with. So I'm just going to be naming it weapon underscore AK19 like this. And then for the weapon model, just input the YDR name. So And then it should turn green if it's correct. Then what we're going to do is go to configuration. You can change the damage, the range, the ammo, whatever. I'm just going to leave this default. Oh, I should also notice... Uh, Note that you can change the template for the, whatever weapon you're doing. They're not all there, but if you want one specific, you can just do it manually. But now after configura configuration, you can go to components, click add, and then select it, and then go to select component template, and then find assault rifle clip 01. And we're going to rename this to AK-19, change the model name. To AK-19 and then make sure it says component enabled this makes it so it's default I think when you spawn the weapon so now we can go to export it should be all green now Then click browse and then select the folder uh, output path and then just click export then if you see here it'll make a new folder like this then we can copy this folder to our server resources I'm just going to delete this old one so just paste it in there and then we're just going to copy the name so we're just going to ensure the resource and then if we've everything's gone according to plan our weapon should be working in game okay so now uh what we put for the weapon name is what we'll type in here so it'll be weapon underscore ak19 as you can see here our weapon is working in game but you'll notice that the magazine is a little off so to fix this, what we'll do is um, we'll move the bone around. So uh, a way to easily align this is go into edit mode on the, the weapon and then select the, uh, the clip bone like this. And we're just going to set the origin to the selected. And then what we can do here is select our mag and then snap it to the origin. Or the no snap it to the cursor. And see now you'll see that it's the same in Blender as it is in the game. So now to fix this, what we can do is move the bone. So go into edit mode on your skeleton like this, and then we're gonna move this back a bit. And we're also gonna move it up. And once you have the bone in the spot you like it, make sure you go here and uh, select the bone. You can do this in pose mode. Go to the bone properties here. Remove all these bone flags. Uh, make sure you're only doing it for this one bone. Then go to drawable tools and then uh, bone tools. And then click limit. And we can just go ahead and export our just our weapon again. Okay, so we're just going to import our XML and we're just going to replace it in our stream folder like this. And then you, without restarting our server, what we can do is uh, make sure you remove the weapon from your player and do restart K19 and then make sure you do this command str underscore request flush. I think you need to be on the canary build or whatever like latest unstable build for the man to work but then we should be able to spawn this again as you can see here now our mags in place 
And it doesn't like jitter around when you shoot. Okay, so now that's basically it. I guess, uh, if you have any suggestions for more tutorials or whatever you want to like need help with, I'll guess I'll consider it in the comments.